none of us will forget the year 2020. The global pandemic which emerged from Wuhan and China at the beginning of this year has transformed social behaviour across the planet in a way that no one could have foreseen. It seems that the simplest of human experiences, from going to the cinema to hugging our family and friends, are actions that we can no longer take for granted. Added to this, there have been expressions of disadvantage and unrest based on continuing prejudices where inequality has become magnified and feelings of injustice intensified. So when we emerge from the mists of this period, it's unlikely we will forget the days when face coverings and hand sanitizing became part of our daily routines. But of course, the act of remembering is essential to every civilized society. Our annual act of remembrance in Ballyclare High School is a means of commemorating those particularly former pupils who unselfishly gave their futures to secure a greater freedom for us all by fighting in conflicts at home and abroad. This morning we perform an act in which the living honour the dead for the sacrifice of their lives. And we affirm our belief that the very best way we can make this tribute is in our determination to pursue a course which echoes the Old Testament prophet Isaiah's instruction to put down our weapons and create instruments of agriculture. To build a country where we look after the land rather than irrigate it with our blood and where we beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks. And nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they study war anymore. Dr. Witherow will now read the names of those former pupils from our school who paid the ultimate price in the service of their country. Every year, as a central element in our act of remembrance, we name the former pupils who paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives in service to their country. We are in their debt. Robert Beggs, Royal New Zealand Air Force. William Bonner, Royal Air Force. Robert Clark, Royal Air Force. John Erskine, Royal Air Force. Edward Gillespie, Royal Air Force. William Grange, Royal Navy. David McLooney, Royal Air Force. John Reed, Royal Air Force. Robert Shannon, Royal Navy. Carl Blackbourne, Royal Ulster Constabulary. We will now hear the sound of the last post which will be followed by a minute silence to honour the dead. During this time, three wreaths will be laid in the front entrance hall of the school. One on behalf of former pupils, one on behalf of the school pupil community, and one on behalf of the school scout troop, since those who lost their lives were representatives of these groups associated with Ballyclare High. Wherever you are, will you please now stand?
moved by the high number of casualties of the British Expeditionary Force in the early days of the First World War on the Western Front, Lawrence Binion wrote an ode of remembrance called For the Fallen. Over time, the third and fourth verses of his poem have been claimed as a tribute to all casualties of war, regardless of nation, and is used in remembrance services across the UK, in Australia, New Zealand and Canada. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and of blue. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. The going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. The reading from God's Word is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. A time for everything. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heap, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Yeah. In the very act of praying, we honour God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today we are here to give thanks for our deliverance in times of war and danger, to remember with deep gratitude the courage, devotion, and example of those who laid down their lives for our country. To commend to God all who suffer as a result of war. And to pray for peace and justice in the world. On this day also let us renew our dedication to the task of bringing the inner peace of Christ to those around us. And the news of his gracious kingdom to the peoples of the world. Amen. Conclude with the benediction. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>